Good morning. Happy Saturday morning to you guys. This is a little weekend read. I did Air, Fire, Earth, Water, a weekend read yesterday for everybody that's Zodiac driven. I've also done the full March readings. There's, uh, I'll put some cards <laughs> and links below so you can access the individual Zodiac readings if you haven't seen those. This is a different kind of reading. I'm going to use a different spread. This is about an ancestor message that wants to come through. So if you were drawn here because of the title, the message, there's something here for you. Okay. If you saw it and you're like, oh, wow, that seems like it's important for me to watch, then you're definitely here for that purpose. So let's see where we go here. Ancestor message. Passion and pleasure, surrendering to the journey. I like that. I've been talking about that recently. Voyage of the heart, love flows to you and through you. Uh, some of you need to see things in a different light. Um, I'm getting a lot of um, hanged man in the readings, a hanged man energy of it's time to change up how you're doing things especially if it hasn't been working for you some of you also are stepping into this very fifth house leo energy of joy and happiness and passion and that's a good thing uh some of you may feel like you're surrendering to the journey through this and i do feel like there might be um the ancestor message coming in about this next love that's coming in is going to be this passion and pleasure it's going to be a different experience a very flowing experience okay all right all right all right all right about love especially let me see let me see here underneath seven of wands some of you have really been resisting a twin flame um some of you have been having a hard time tower showing up as the tower that has been a loud uh card this week Two of Pentacles, as some of you know, um, I've been saying it all week, so if you've been watching my other videos, you know this, um, that Mars and Venus came into conjunction a few weeks ago or a little while ago. Yesterday or Thursday, they were in conjunction with Pluto also. And on this day, the Mars and Venus, masculine, feminine, finally move into Aquarius, which is oh, kind of a opening up here. But this is Pluto right now. Wow devil energy and the two of pentacles look at this this is like do i stay stuck or do i blow my entire life up okay um some of you are i mean i didn't really know if this was going to be a twin flame um reading or not it's like whatever wants to come through but some of you have been resisting this twin flame energy yeah high priestess i'll talk you through all this when i lay it out let me just lay it out here it's not like you're yelling at me to lay it out, so whatever. Empress, Ten of Wands, Justice, Two of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Nine of Cups. This is quite obvious to me. I'm just going to pull a couple. Yes. <laughs> Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so... Some of you are dealing with a relationship that has been very hurtful in the past, okay? And I feel like this has, some of you, it is a twin flame. Some of you, it is a powerful soulmate energy. The universe is trying to talk with you about, do I blow it up or do I stay stuck in something, all right? In the recent past, um, balance and being able to be diplomatic, being able to be someone who was good at relationships so you know um libra is the opposite energy of aries and aries is about independence but libra is about let's work it out together be diplomatic you might have been so diplomatic in the past that you disappeared okay and i feel like finally you're coming to the place where you're like you know what not diplomatic anymore i'm gonna be who i am the universe is speaking through me talking to me I'm going to change up what I'm doing. So in the past, you could have been somebody who was very easygoing and maybe to the point of allowing someone to run over top of you. Some of you have the opposite experience of like constantly being resisted by this twin flame or you constantly resisting twin flame. It's either like all or nothing. It seems like I'm 100% immersed in you or I don't want to know from you, right? There's just this 
this two of pentacles here, like one or the other, but it's not one or the other. There's a third way. There's a separate way of, I need to be, I need to not have myself get completely swamped by relationships, but I also need to be someone who still um, can be in relationship and have this you know, easy connection that, you know, sometimes you're leading, sometimes I'm leading, sometimes I'm doing, sometimes you're doing, right? There's this just nice, easy balance. And it can't be always you and none of me, always me and none of you. It can't be that. So I feel like that's what's being balanced right now is whatever you were in the past, were you somebody who was avoidant? Like I'm independent, I don't want any kind of relationship. Uh, even when you're in relationships, it's a battle. You're always like, stop swamping me, get off me kind of thing. Or you completely disappear into relationships. This is the thing that's being balanced right now. So if you are feeling right now that you are, maybe you're alone and maybe you would prefer to be in relationship. Okay, that's the thing that needs to be balanced is how am I in relationship? The, the thing from the other side of, um, I'm alone and I hate being alone, but you need to learn to be alone so that when you're in relationship, you have something to bring to the table that's independent, right? It's not enough to just want to get sucked into relationship. That's not what your life is all about. It's about learning who you are separate from another person. All right. So these two things are, are, are colliding a little bit, masculine and feminine coming into union here where the masculine is the one that's take charge, right? The feminine is the nurturing. So, okay, so now we're being challenged on a higher level to really balance these two energies. I feel like it's a very difficult thing for some people. And, you know, it's something that really needs to be worked on. I love the Empress here, this Venus energy down here of nurturance. There's intuition here. There is love here, okay, the Two of Cups. But there's an inability right now that's coming right up, like a, I don't want to learn this. I don't want to be this, whatever the opposite energy is. So some of you may attribute this to previous hurts, Three of Swords, okay? Some of you may have been too accommodating in relationships and that caused a lot of pain. Some of you may have been too avoidant in relationships and that caused you pain. So whatever you have been, this is definitely a balancing out because you're asking for good relationship. You're asking for the, the person to come in who is going to be um, the life partner or something long-term. And it's likely some of you are in situations right now that need to be blown up or massively changed. Okay, and the universe, the ancestor message here is about releasing control, moving forward in passion and pleasure, enjoying yourself, having a good time with this other person instead of this kind of underpinning of, and I'm going to say it's a game, but I don't mean that you're like doing this to this person uh, or the other, your partner on purpose. It's just like this is a lesson for your life. And ancestors are saying that it's just becoming, you know, untenable. It's not, it can't stick around, whatever the pattern is. Um, and you are going to get what you want. You're going to get a partnership that is going to work for you. So let's see here. I'm going to clarify a little bit about this, um, the tower devil energy. Five of swords. Six of swords. Temperance. And the Four of Swords. So some of you are moving away from an old pattern. I feel like some of you have been in love relationships. Maybe you even thought this was a twin flame. Some of you have been in love relationships that have been super hurtful uh, because the other person was like a, a narcissist or a manipulative person or something like that. Some of you might have even thought that that was your twin flame. Um, I do a class called Plutonic Relationships and also the Empath and the Narcissist. These classes are designed to help you navigate out of a relationship that isn't, how shall we say, healthy and uh, life affirming long term. It is a lesson. OK, it is a karmic lesson. Um, these people are not twin flames. They are uh, they are people who teach us who teach us. OK, so I do feel like the universe is bringing in this lesson for you to be able to balance. 
and go forward into a relationship that is more powerful. Some of you have been resisting, it sounds backwards, but like some of you have been resisting relationships that are that are satisfying, that would be fulfilling, that would be long-term because there's a fear of commitment. There's so constantly being drawn to third-party relationships, constantly being drawn to toxic people is a little bit avoidant too. It's a pattern that needs to be worked on so that the relationship that comes in can be healthy. Okay, so uh, I'm going to continue on. Uh, if you are dealing with anybody who is a Sag, I see a lot of Sag here. Let me move this. If you're dealing with, let's see, Capricorn, Pisces, Taurus, Libra, Sag. If you're dealing with any of those signs, I'm going to continue on with this reading. Let's keep going if this has resonated for you. And let's see where we go. Because I feel like where you're going is um, kind of a new day. The Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Wands. So let's see more about that. All right, Ancestor Message. The link is below if you want to continue on. I'll see you over there.